The objective is to divide decimal dividends by two-digit divisors, estimating quotients, reasoning about the placement of the decimal point, and making connections to a written method. In a 77-kilometer race, each of 22 team members will run an equal distance. How many kilometers will each team member run? Let's write a division expression to solve for the number of kilometers run by each team member. That would be 77 divided by 22. Using the standard algorithm, we would have 77, we're dividing by 22. 22 can't go into 7, 22 can go into 77. It goes into 77 three whole times, because 3 times 22 is 66. 77 minus 66 is 11. Add a 0, drop a 0. 110 divided by 22 is 5, because 5 times 22 is 110. Subtract that I get 0. Decimal point. So it's 3 and 5 tenths. So how many kilometers will each team member run? They'll run 3 and 5 tenths kilometers. Is this answer reasonable? I think so. If we were to express this within meters, it would be 3 kilometers and 500 meters for each of the team members. A vial contains 14.7 milliliters of serum that is then split equally into 21 tiny containers. How much serum is in each container? Let's work to solve this. That would be 14.7 divided by 21. Let's use the standard algorithm. Twenty one can't go into one, twenty one can't go into fourteen, twenty one can go into one hundred forty seven. Our estimate for that would be divided by twenty would be one hundred forty divided by twenty, which equals seven. So let's use seven. 7 times 1 is 7, 7 times 2 is 14, and we can subtract those two to get 0. So we have 0 0.7. 7 tenths of a milliliter of serum is in each container. So we express our answer clearly. The surface area of a rectangular piece of construction paper is 140.25 square inches. If the paper's length is 17 inches, what is its width? What expression would you use to solve this problem? Right, 140.25 divided by 17. Let's try our standard algorithm. Seventeen can't go into fourteen. Seventeen can go into hundred forty. If we used an estimate for that, we would be talking about one hundred forty ones divided by twenty, which is seven. Can I tell you that it's actually eight and not seven? Save us a little bit of work here. But our estimate does help us. Eight times seven is fifty-six. 6 equal to 5. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 5 is 13. So that's 136. Subtract that, we get 4. Bring down the 2. 42 divided by 17 is 2, because 2 times 17 is 34, and 32 minus 34 is 8. Bring down the 5. That goes in 5 whole times. 5 times 17 is 85, and 85 minus 85 is 0. So our paper's width is 8.25 inches. Or 8 and 25 hundredths inches long.